of Hello. 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 All right. So we have um, uh, here. Uh, there was uh, the boxing matches uh, last uh, last week uh, with Logan Paul and uh, KSI and uh, Jake and Deji and um, and then there was also Scarce and Rockarama. I don't know if you saw that one, but that was a disaster for Scarce. Um, he didn't have any defense, and uh, he ended up with a broken nose. So here's a sentence here that maybe we could diagram. All right? And it's, you see up top here, Rockarama, Rocka Rocka broke Scarce's nose during their boxing match. Okay, see that Rakarama broke Scarce's nose during their boxing match. All right, so this is a, a sentence diagram on that, and uh, and here's an example of a sentence diagram, a basic one, and okay. We have a horizontal line and we have uh, vertical lines here. Okay, on the horizontal line, uh, you put the um, uh, the nouns and the verbs, which would be a noun would be uh, a subject, um, uh, an object, a direct object. Okay, those are nouns. Okay, so they go on the horizontal line here, as you can see. The horizontal line, the subject, verb, and direct object on the horizontal line. Okay, and then we have vertical lines to separate the um, the subject from the verb and the um, and the verb from the direct object. You can see. Okay, this vertical line here is. Uh, Okay, the vertical line that's dissecting right here, um, subject and verb, is, um, and it goes through, all right? It goes through the line. That separates the subject and the verb, all right? So that one right there, you see? Separating the subject and verb. You have a dissecting line right there. And it's like, you know, it's like you make, you make the cross, all right? You make a cross there. All right, you just make a regular cross. Don't get wise and, you know... Uh, make an upside down cross. Make sure that line goes fully through and on down, okay? You don't want any uh, like Satanism stuff here, okay? Uh, demon stuff with the upside down cross, okay? Let's go, man, all right? So here, yeah, make a nice cross right there to separate the subject and the verb. And then you go over here to separate the verb from, say, a direct object in this example right here. Now you have a line coming down, a vertical line coming down, but it doesn't go through the horizontal line, okay? Just meets it meets the horizontal line. Okay, so separating subject and verb, you have a vertical line cutting through, all right, or dissecting um, the horizontal line, and then here separating the verb from the direct object, you have a vertical line uh, just going down to the horizontal line. Okay, now underneath that, um, if we have adjectives and adverbs, um, we put them on slanted lines. Okay, underneath the words that they modify. Okay, and um, Adjectives can modify, they modify nouns, so therefore a subject and a direct object, they are nouns, so therefore you can have adjectives modifying the subject and modifying the direct object, okay? So that we have that shown here, okay? And with verbs, uh, what modifies a verb is an adverb. So underneath the verb, we have on the slanted line the adverb, okay? And uh, here we go. All right, the horizontal line for nouns and verbs. Slanted lines for adjectives, adverbs, and also prepositions, prepositional phrases. And prepositional phrases are, um, for the most part, prepositional phrases are adjectives or adverbs. Okay? All right. So let's move it on here. All right. Here's uh, this... Again, the sentence diagram, 
but I added this time a prepositional phrase here. All right, and I have prepositional phrases. Okay, under verb equals one adverb. All right, so I show a prepositional phrase here under the verb. And you can see on the slanted line is the preposition. Uh, and now on a horizontal line, like I said, nouns and verbs, they go on uh, horizontal lines. So again, with the object of the preposition, uh, okay, the whole prepositional phrase goes underneath the verb or the adjective that it modifies. Um, but, uh, or excuse me, uh, the verb or the, uh, the noun that it modifies. But um, you, uh, but you count the whole prepositional phrase as either an adverb or an adjective. So in this case here, this prepositional phrase is underneath the verb. It's acting as an adverb. Act, you know, all the three words there or whatever in the prepositional phrase. All right, the preposition, um, it, it's all acting as just one part of speech, an adverb. Okay, the entire prepositional phrase is just one part of speech, the adverb. Or it's equivalent to like just one word. Okay, all right. So we'll get to the uh, sentence here now. Yeah, uh, Scarce just had no defense. That was crazy, man. I, I mean, uh, Raka Rama was just, or excuse me, Raka Raka, his name, um, he, uh, he would just punch straight in on his face. And it was like, Scarce had his hands up pretty much the whole time, but he didn't like use his, his hands. He didn't use his gloves to like block any of the punches or use his arms to block any of the punches. It was like, it was like Scarce was just like trying to protect his ears or something. I don't know what the heck. Cause like if Raka 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 went straight in, um, you know, right in on his face, that's what Scarce didn't protect. You know, it was like Scarce just had, you know, he just had his arm up here. He didn't go like this anytime. He, you know, he wasn't trying to bend it. You know, he was just uh, letting Raka Raka come right in, you know, and, his, and his, his fist would just stay up like that. But maybe he just couldn't do anything about it because Raka Raka was just too quick for uh, Scarce. Raka Raka was a little guy. He weighed 152 pounds. Scarce weighed like 174 pounds. Scarce had like 22 pounds on him, but it didn't matter. Uh, it, it was, uh, so yeah, uh, Raka Raka was like a little guy and Scarce was much bigger than him. But um, it was, uh, you know, I mean, the size and the weight difference didn't help out, but it didn't help Scarce either to... Uh, to lose like a hundred pounds in the last six months. That's kind of crazy. You know, he's on a, some kind of crash diet while he's trying to get himself in shape for a fight. And then the poor guy on top of that, he had his father pass away, um, like around like two months ago or whatever. And his father wanted to see him box and his father was excited about, uh, scarce boxing in his tournament. But, um, it, it was, uh, <coughs> Uh, you know, his father suddenly, he said his father suddenly passed away. I don't know what his father had that he suddenly passed away, but it, it wasn't like expected, you know. So, I mean, that was really sad. So that's also on Scarce too. And I was thinking about it during the fight. Um, Scarce took a beating and, and like wouldn't go down. I'm thinking like, you know, his father was there in spirit and just keeping him up, you know. And, uh, you know, and then uh, mercifully, um, you know, the ref called it in the third round. It was three rounds, two minutes each round. So Scarce almost pulled it out. He almost went the, the whole fight uh, getting through it. Um, so, okay. All right, here's the um, here's the sentence here. Okay. Up top, we have Raka. Raka broke Scarce's nose during their boxing match. Okay. And here's the sentence diagram for it. All right. Sentence diagram one, I have right here. Okay, you see, here's on the horizontal line, you have the subject, the verb, and the direct object. Where I said on the horizontal line goes the nouns, the verbs, the direct objects, okay? Um, you have uh, subject being Raka Raka here. Raka Raka broke Scarce's nose, okay? So that would be uh, Raka Raka is a subject, right? Raka Raka is a noun, and the noun is the subject here, Raka Raka. 
all right it's also called a proper noun or a proper name proper noun all right so it's going to be capitalized um, of course as the subject in the beginning word will be capitalized but also as a proper name a proper noun it's going to be uh, capitalized as well and then the verb here the main verb is broke okay and then rocka rocka broke what broke uh, scarce his nose broke nose okay scarce is and scarce here all right even though that's a proper noun with the apostrophe s that makes it a a possessive adjective here all right scarce it was using a noun here uh, a proper noun um, as a modifier okay um, here and by using the apostrophe s so whose nose was broken scarce's nose all right so scarce's nose so scarce here is a um, uh, possessive proper noun here that is used as a possessive adjective. You know, you can have um, nouns acting like adjectives. You can have verbs acting like nouns. You know, they can go back and forth and, you know, they can, they can go on and um, even though something may be a noun, it can, depending on where the word is located in a sentence, it could function as something else. So, okay, scarce is a noun, but here, as scarce as knows, um, it's a noun that's acting as an adjective, a possessive adjective, with the apostrophe S um, at the end of scarce's name, scarce's nose. Okay, so there we go there. All right. Raka raka broke scarce's nose All right. during their boxing match. All right, during their match, boxing match. All right, this is kind of difficult. It, this is very hard. I find this very hard. You get a prepositional phrase at the end of the sentence, and like, what is it modifying? Is it modifying, uh, is it modifying a noun? Is it modifying the verb? You know, and it's like you got to ask, I guess, the, the questions, the verb questions here, or the adjective questions. So, um, this is uh, answers the question when. All right. So it's like if you're answering the question when, Raka Raka broke scarce his nose. Well, when did he break his nose? during their boxing match, okay? So that's when he broke it during their boxing match. So when is an adverb question. How, when, where, why, right? So, um, Raka Raka broke Scarce's nose when? During their boxing match. Okay, so therefore, um, it's an adverb and it's modifying uh, the verb broke here, okay? Um, uh, because the prepositional phrase uh, right here, um, as an adverb, it's like, okay, what do we have to have it modify? Okay, well, it would modify the verb in this case right here, all right? Because adverbs modify verbs, right? Okay, so there we go. Underneath uh, broke, you see I have during their boxing match, okay? The whole prepositional phrase, okay, on the slant is the preposition, during, okay, um, there is an adjective on a slant, on a slanted line, boxing is an adjective on a slanted line, and match, match is a noun, it is the object of the preposition, okay, so what do we do with nouns, nouns and verbs, horizontal line, okay, uh, adjective, adverbs, prepositions, slanted lines, Okay, nouns and verbs on the horizontal line. Okay, all right. So, and I have it right there. Horizontal lines, nouns and verbs. Uh, slanted lines, adjectives, adverbs, prepositions. All right. During their boxing match, okay, that whole prepositional phrase, in this sentence here, it acts as one adverb, one part of speech, one adverb. Okay, and that's why um, it's modifying the verb here, and that's why we have the slant line coming out of the the verb. Okay, broke. All right. Okay, so uh, what else do we have here? We have uh, Minnie says she had a surprise for us here, and uh, so we're gonna go ahead here and see what the surprise is all about, and. We'll see. Okay, Minnie, so what's the surprise here? All right. Yeah, I got to let you know, man. Guess who? I got a guest. 